what's going on guys? Well, it's Friday, July the 8th. Uh, it's one of my carb up, carb up, carb refeed days. I don't go really crazy with the, with the carbohydrates, but since I eat a lot of the fat, I try to cut the fat back a little bit. I don't cut it back all the way, but I do cut it back quite a bit and replace that with carbs. Um, but anyway, I, I didn't get to vlog uh, on what I had for breakfast. I end up, I'm still doing intermittent fasting even on my carb up days, so I didn't eat breakfast till about 10.30. But I just jumped across the street over here at work and went to Subway and got a, uh, a ham, egg, and cheese flatbread uh, sandwich with uh, some salt and pepper and honey mustard and then uh, tomatoes, green peppers, onions, and jalapenos. So uh, that's what I have for breakfast. Now for lunch, uh, I, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do for lunch. I know I, I told somebody that uh, I was probably gonna go do uh, Arby's or maybe run across here to a Tropical Smoothie Cafe and get one of their wraps or something. But uh, I was uh, catching up on my YouTube this morning and I saw the Hodge Twins do one of their eating videos and they were doing these new uh oh uh brown sugar bacon sandwich they have like three different ones up there and so uh so i decided that's what i was gonna do it is a uh, pretty good size sandwich but i did the uh brown sugar brown sugar and bacon uh turkey sandwich and it's on a king's hawaiian bun and and, uh, and everything I got that and then uh, our security guard up here at work he makes these little cracker things he's giving me the recipe I just hadn't had time to make it but uh, that's what they look like now he makes these little cracker things and they're made from oyster crackers and uh, I thank you mix of oyster crackers some cayenne pepper a little salt and pepper and a Hidden Valley Ranch uh, mixture packet um, and then you mix all the oil together and heat it up real good. And then you um, put, you pour a bag, a bag of these oyster crackers, which are usually about a dollar a bag. And you pour a bag of these oyster crackers in the, uh, in like a one gallon bucket or something like that. And then pour that, and pour that uh, oil and and uh, spices mixture over top of the crackers. Shake them up real good. And then you just set them up on your shelf, you know, for about 48 hours or so and just completely normal leave them sealed in there and everything like that maybe a couple times we we'll get up there and kind of shake up the bucket a little bit over the couple days but you ignore it for a couple days and then whenever you're um, whenever the couple days are up all the oil and everything like that is soaked up into the crackers with all the spices and it makes a really spicy spicy little snack cracker and they're really really good really addicting i'm probably gonna have to leave this bucket out here in the truck when i go back into work here in a minute otherwise i'll sit there and eat on these crackers all day and eat all my carbs you know throughout the day rather than you know wait to have me another good meal uh this evening but i'll check in with you this evening that we haven't decided what we're going to do for supper yet i don't need to meet any more of those crackers uh but i'll check in later this evening and let you know what i'm doing for my final meal of the day i'm going to eat this sandwich right here and then i'm going to get back in here and get to work so i'll check with y'all in a little while see ya Cafe latte and what I was saying, turtle tracks. And coffee out. Cafe latte is good. I'm gonna try. It's on top. Good. It's pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like coffee. Yeah. Real mild, not like overpowering coffee. Mm -mm. Right, back at the house, got the groceries put up. It's what's for dinner tonight. That'd be the last of the uh, cheap meals, carb up meals for the day. And back on, back on keto and heavy lifting tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna cook this up. I'm not video it here in a second after it's or here in a few minutes after it's cooked up. Give you a shot at what it looks like, all brown and toasty and smelling up the house real good. Anyway, guys, talk to you later.
ਲਈ